Welcome to USMLE Sarti. We are committed to empowering IMGs. We're excited to guide you on your match journey. Don't forget to click subscribe and turn on notifications so you can get notified whenever we add new content. Also, follow us on Instagram and Twitter for the latest tips and tricks regarding everything USMLE. Now, let's dive into it. Okay, so moving on to the next part is, you know, this is not really a change, but this is uh, this um, is a continuation of what has been there. Experiences, we, we continue to have 10 maximum experiences that you can use, okay? So by experiences, you could have your work experience, your volunteer experience, your any other research experiences or any of those things, right? And a lot of times people divide this 10 experiences by like, depending on what you want to highlight. If you're somebody who is an older graduate and you want to highlight your clinical experiences, you can put more of clinical and some research and some volunteer. Or if somebody who is a fresh graduate, so you have enough clinical experience, you can, um, and you're applying to a research heavy specialty, you can put some clinical and more of research and some um, volunteer experience. So it depends on your specific situation or how you want to uh, highlight these experiences. Okay. Or if you're somebody who's applying to multiple specialties, then you, you know, you might have to kind of divide it and uh, put multiple experiences for different specialties, you know? So it, this is dependent on your particular situation. The other thing is, and this is continuing from last year, uh, previously it used to be a supplemental application thing where you could put, so out of the 10 experiences that you mentioned, you can have three selected experiences out of the 10 and explain more about it. Essentially talk about what are the qualities you learned or what are the specific life lessons you learned from those experiences and add it, um, uh, add it in that specific selected experiences section. And again, you have to be strategic about this. It things about what you want to highlight. Either you highlight one clinical, one research, and one volunteer experience, or if you know uh, three different clinical experiences of three different um, um, different atmospheres or different uh, clinical settings, you know, whatever, based on what you think, uh, is lacking in your application, how you want to highlight stuff that would make your application more well-rounded, okay? And the other new thing is the impactful experience. So in addition to 10 experiences and three selected experiences out of the 10, um, AMC has given an option to add something known as an impactful experience. And an impactful experience is different from all these experiences. And it essentially means a, a really life-changing experience that made you who you are. Okay, so if you have, so if you are somebody who has an impactful story to write in your personal statement, then use it for your personal statement. But if you have multiple impactful stories, you've gone through so many different things, and you're like, I cannot add all of those stories into my personal statement. Think of one specific impactful experience that you can add to your. Um, uh, actual ERAS application instead. Okay, so now you can use that those experiences to help you because now you have one for your personal statement and another one that you can add for your ERAS application. Okay, and ERAS, um, they have given examples of what you can write, like specifically, like if it's something challenging, like your family background, if you were the first um, generation to graduate college, or if you came from a really uh, low-income family, worked hard to support family growing up, or whatever, right? If um, you you know you went through food scarcity, poverty, crime, you know all of those things, or limited education opportunities, you didn't have anybody to talk to, advisors or mentors, or just general life circumstances where you you know things that really made you who you are, um, that impacted your decision to applying for residency, okay? So what's important is, and what is important here is programs do not expect all applicants to complete this section, okay? So this section is intended for applicants who have overcome major challenges or obst obstacles. And some people don't have experiences that are relevant to this section. So it's okay. But if you do, do not 
lose out on this opportunity to write their experience. But also there are also other applicants who may not be very comfortable sharing personal information in their application. So it's up to you. Uh, if you do write it, make sure you use it uh, well. But otherwise, if uh, remember, this is optional and programs do not expect all applicants to complete this section. Thank you so much for watching. We hope that video provided valuable insights for your journey. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And check out our website for details on how we can guide you to a successful match.